Welcome back to American Horror Story, New York City, Discussions and Predictions. In this series, we discuss key points in each episode, and I also have my own predictions and theories. I'd love to hear your prediction and theories as well in the comments. Let's go. this show we're starting off on the fifth episode so the fifth episode starts off in the bathhouse we find out that the owner of the bathhouse also runs a psychic place and Fran if you remember Fran from previous episodes walks into the psychic place and asks for a job the bathhouse owner hires Fran tells her to study the tarot cards and to know the game when she comes back but also know it's not real her job is simply to make the customer happy. After studying all night, Fran wakes up in the middle of the night and sees Big Daddy outside of her window. So what could that mean? Could that mean that Big Daddy is watching her? Could he be working with the owner of the bathhouse? As we'll find out here shortly, she has been a little dark in these episodes. So, and she's going to get darker. And now we also find out Adam is a sperm donor for the scientist, Dr. Wills, and they visit Fran to try and see the gender of the baby inside of this psychic place. There are tarot cards and Fran draws, starts to draw for the scientist that we know as Dr. Wills. This is the cards that she gets. The Queen of Pinnacles, that means connected to the earth as she explains. Ten of Swords doesn't explain. The Empress, connected to female energy. She asks if uh, Dr. Wells is wanting to have a female as the baby, a woman, a girl. Fran then convinced Adam to do a reading. His cards are death. End of your friend's life and beginning of another is what she explains. It doesn't have to mean literal death is what she explains. Then Adam backs out of his card reading and Fran decides to do another reading for Dr. Wells. She gets the death card again. Fran says there's only supposed to be one death card in the deck and that she's not doing it on purpose. Draws another death card. Adam slaps all the cards off the table. Fran sees them as all death cards. Takes a second and looks back at the cards again and they're normal. So this could mean anything. This could mean that Fran could actually have some kind of powers or the bathhouse owner is haunted or not really haunted, should I say, or demonic and has possessed Fran. But anyways, let's move forward. And again, I apologize if I get any of these names wrong. There's a lot to remember and some of them I will not call by name. Like for instance, Patrick's ex-wife is acting weird at the divorce signing, almost has a panic attack, it seems. Ex-wife says she wants to be with Patrick still or work things out at least. Patrick disagrees strongly and then the ex-wife falls out. Ex-wife sends Patrick to her house to let the dog out. And once Patrick gets in the house, guess what? Big Daddy's in the closet waiting for him. They get into a fight. Ends up kind of being weird. Big Daddy holds him down, was feeling his leg, and then it kind of ends with them on the ground. So it doesn't, it's not really exactly clear what happens there. And I just want to make that clear because that's one of my predictions. I'm kind of predicting that Patrick may actually be with Big Daddy or know of him or something like that because it doesn't show him actually killing him. But who knows? I could be wrong. I just wanted to throw that out there as a, an, an official prediction. So the next scene shows Patrick saying that that's the second time that that guy's tried to kill him to the cops and all of that. So he's trying to just, he said that he he tried to kill him, but he got away again, which is strange to me because they're in a little apartment. So Patrick's police partner is talking to him and trying to figure out what happened like detectives do. His partner asks if his ex-wife knew he was coming by the house or not. Patrick immediately responds by saying, no, 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 it wasn't her. She didn't have anything to do with it. That seemed kind of strange to me. Uh, 
just because he defended her so quickly like that. And she, de he def, she definitely knew that uh, he was coming over there, and he left that out. So, anyways, the next scene, Adam walks by Mr. Whiteley without realizing who he is. I just had to make that note there. Remember, Mr. Whiteley is one of the main killers in the show that everyone's looking for at the time. Adam ends up in the doctor's office where the scientist, Dr. Wells, uh, and the other doctor that she is seeing about the baby says that the baby looks fine. Uh, now that the, the show keeps focusing on the baby, it makes me think that something important in the upcoming episodes will have to do with the baby. And could we possibly be looking at another Devil Spawn baby like previous seasons? or like Apocalypse has given us. Those are my favorite. So I certainly hope so, but who knows. The doctor walks out of the room and the scientist tells Adam that she had a dream about the baby having tentacles when it was born. By scientist, I mean Dr. Wells. And the doctor mentions that the scientist has a low blood count once he comes back in the room and tells Adam and Dr. Wells. And then Dr. Wells uh, says that her patients that she has tested also had low blood cells. The doctor that she is seeing claims it's probably just anemia. Patrick takes ex-wife back to the house after a hospital. Patrick realizes that the lights work now, which is kind of strange. He was going to tell her the lights didn't work. Went to turn them on and they worked. Odd or not odd. It could have been because Big Daddy turned them off. And it could have been, remember, because they were having power surges in previous episodes. Patrick's ex-wife claims that she's staying home no matter what the danger is. And could that be because she feels safe? Because she actually works with Big Daddy, plot twist. Or is she just brave? And the next scene we see Theo Graves and Adam going back to the tarot card place because Theo wants to take Adam there after he heard the stories. And Theo wants to ask the psychic about their relationship. Fran says what happened to Adam wasn't on purpose when they get there. So again, maybe she's possessed or maybe the building she's in is possessed. And this time Fran has everything memorized. So um, like I said, she could be possessed. The bathhouse lady could have possessed her or the house itself, the psychic place itself and the bathhouse could be haunted or who knows what's going on right there. So I feel like something's going on. Theo gets his cards, and these are them below. He gets judgment, and Fran says that means suggests self-evaluation or an awakening. He also gets the devil. That means can be playful and fun, represents questioning and intellectual. Sounds a lot like Theo, huh? So I wrote that down like saying Theo himself could be evil. What if he, him himself was the devil spawn. So then the table starts shaking right after all of this starts going on. He gets the death card and then Adam asks who's going to die and in a demonic voice. Fran's face changes and says very evilly, you, to Adam. Then it goes back to normal and Fran says that's just the subway. Fran and Theo say that but uh, no one claims to hear the voice that Adam said, the evil voice that says, you. So back in Gio's office at the newspaper place, Adam tells Gino about Fran and the tarot reader who also works for Gino and how she scared Adam and his friend and how it was weird and seemed real. Adam says, uh, she lays your fears out in front of you. Gino says, that sounds like a scam. And so the next scene, Gino walks into the psychic reading place. You can see season five has a lot of stuff going on, mainly in the psychic place and around the bathhouse owner. Is she evil? I think so. I think she's pretty evil and we'll find out. So the next scene, once he walks in there, Gino walks in the psychic place. Both Fran and the bathhouse owner are there together when Gino walks in. And he says, what, you can't give me a reading? And a uh, bathhouse owner ends up letting Fran go on break. So Gino says that they've been trying to scare him with fake readings. And bathhouse owner says, I'll do it and we'll let you judge if it's real or not. These are the tarot cards that Gino gets. He gets judgment. The devil. 
death. Bath owner says, sorry, let's try again. Then uh, let Gino do it himself. He draws judgment, the devil, death. The lights blow out and it gets really scary. There's some evil angel looking thing in the background as the bathhouse owner is saying strange things to Gino. Gino gets up and kind of walks towards the door saying that it isn't real. And then the dark angel comes to him and says, do you want me to kiss it and make it all go away? After some more evil speaking from the dark angel, Gino says he has a soul and he loves Patrick and Patrick loves him. The dark angel responds, how can, how can he love you and how can he even know you? But don't worry, he's dying too. So this makes me think that this is definitely demonic and you know, like some kind of spirit or something evil as you're getting things like that saying he's gonna die too and the demonic entity knows about Patrick and Gino and basically knows about everything. So I'm thinking that's another hint that the bathhouse and bath, bath owner are possessed. And then the next scene shows Patrick's ex-wife in the shower, kind of hallucinates or and shows Patrick into in the bathroom. And then all of a sudden, Big Daddy's in the shower and kills her, it appears, because then it shows Patrick coming in the front door, finds her dead. The cops that are supposedly watching her just let her die like that. And I, does, that, does that another hint that Big Daddy was in the house the whole time? Or was, is Patrick Big Daddy that time? I don't think so, because I think uh, I think Big Daddy was black again because I wrote that it was Big Daddy, so that Patrick's white. So does Patrick know about it? It gets dark, it gets real. Episode five's great. So then the episode five ends with Whiteley showing the two boys that got in the elevator with him tied to tables. Whiteley says it's for something that's bigger and shows a body that he has lower down from the ceiling it looks like he's doing some kind of frankenstein stuff so we'll, looking forward to see what that's going to be what are your predictions on that uh who knows what that's going to be he could even have it possessed or what because it appears he's building something out of bot spare body parts so i want to know your predictions on that but that's it for episode five we're going to post episode six video soon this one was a doozy a long episode a lot of stuff happened not every episode is this jam-packed, so this one's a little bit longer, but we'll see you again for episode six, Review and Predictions.